My name is Karen Karsh. I'm a singer-songwriter from Centennial, Colorado, and I am a very long-time graduate of Guide Dogs of the Blind. I have just received my seventh dog from Guide Dogs. His formal name is Herb, but we call him Herbie around here. And I wanted to send you a little video because Guide Dogs has been so incredibly wonderful to me and my life. And I just want everybody to know how grateful and appreciative I am for what you have done over these many, many, many years. Without a dog in my life, I don't think my life would be as wonderful as it is. You know, when you walk down the street with a guide dog, it's pretty special and it allows you this great sense of independence. But it's more than just, you know, walking from corner to corner or crossing a street um, or being able to do the traditional things that we all do with guide dogs. When you actually are walking down the street with a dog, I swear to you, it feels like I, I'm, I've got wings to fly or something. It's like a, a sense of freedom that is just beyond compare. There's a bond that grows and evolves of love and trust that is unlike anything else. It's represented by things like negotiating traffic together. So if I don't hear a car that is coming when I say to Herbie forward, it's time to cross the street, he won't go. He's had to learn to navigate snow and ice very quickly here in Colorado. I am still a working singer songwriter and so that means that my dog has to be able to handle a lot of people a lot of noise sometimes he's in different you know physical situations and um, Diane Webster was just fabulous at making sure that this dog was ready to be the guide dog of a singer so he can't make any noise he can <laughs> really he's supposed to act like he doesn't even care if I can carry a tune and that's what's happened for me. And he's just a perfect little dog in my life. And I'll never be able to be articulate enough to tell you how wonderful it is to have this dog. I only hope I can have, you know, three or four more in my lifetime. Music to me is a way of sharing your heart and soul and reaching out to somebody and it sort of meets that heart and soul in the middle. And it articulates exactly how I really do feel about having a guide dog and guide dogs for the blind as such an instrumental part of my life. And the tune is called Wings to Fly, and I'm not going to do very much of it, maybe 30 seconds. But I wanted you to hear those lyrics because that's what the dogs and Herbie mean to me from those who helped support me through the end of life of my last dog, Faulkner, to everyone who's been part of Herbie's raising and training. I am so incredibly grateful to everyone. I just wanna leave you with a little bit of a song I've written called Wings to Fly that really does tell the story of how I feel about my guide dogs. And thank you so much again. You've given me wings to fly, a song to sing the way that you touch my life. It means everything. And with my wings spread wide, Whoa.